Hello and uh, welcome to this channel. My name is Dr. Kavli and I specialize in non-surgical image-guided interventions. Today we're going to be talking about a uh, condition called benign prosthetic hyperplasia or more uh, commonly known as uh, prostate enlargement. How it affects men, what are the symptoms that it causes, and uh, what are the traditional therapeutic options and we're going to be talking about prostate artery embolization so prostate enlargement is a very very common condition it affects one in five men and its uh, prevalence or frequency increases over time with age and it can affect up to 80 percent of patients it is estimated that approximately 19 million men will suffer from this condition uh, the symptoms usually start around uh, age 40 by urinary symptoms. Uh, so what is this prostate gland? So the prostate is a gland that is located under the bladder. The function is uh, reproduction and uh, semen formation. Uh, with age it starts to increase in size. Unfortunately there's the urethra that traverses the prostate. So once the prostate starts to grow it will simply squeeze the urethra which is the tube that carries uh, the urine out. And this will make uh, the urination more and more difficult and will manifest with a range of symptoms that so the urologist called uh, either voidant symptoms or storage symptoms uh, such as a weak urinary stream or frequency uh, or irritative symptoms some patient will have blood in the urine some patient will have uh, will have to strain to urinate uh, some patient will have pain or they will have a leaky micturation there are other patients who will have uh, what we call uh, a sens sensation of urgency. They cannot hold, they have to run to the bathroom uh, or uh, simply uh, they have to wake up at night and this will disturb their sleep pattern, their ability to, to focus the next day, to work correctly. And ultimately all these uh, symptoms will uh, make the patient seek medical help and typically they go to the urologist first. Um, so once the patient goes see the urologist, he will uh, typically starts with uh, a medical treatment. Two classes of medication, the anti and the alpha blockers are given. And there are patients who may or may not tolerate the side effects, which can be pretty significant. If this treatment fails, the urologist will go to a surgical option. And all the urological procedures basically have the same principle. They have to introduce something through the penis to destroy or resect the, the, the prostate. So one of the main uh, procedures is called TERP or transurethral resection of the prostate. And uh, it has to be done under general anesthesia. They have to introduce something in the penis. They have to resect. They leave a channel. They leave a cavity at the end of the procedure. So this is uh, a, uh, an animation that shows how a little bit the TERP procedure is uh, performed. As you can see, and uh, of course, if the patient is candidate for uh, this type of invasive treatment. Sure. Now, what are the other options that we can offer? So, uh, we are interventional radiologists, meaning we're not surgeons. We use images to perform uh, non-surgical, minimally, in minimally invasive procedures. Typically, these procedures use high-tech equipment based on radiology, so we don't have to open. We see everything with the, with the images. And we use like uh, state-of-the-art imaging, like the angio suite. Um, typically, our procedures are done under sedation. We see the patient in clinic before we assess if they are like good candidates. We order some tests, and in this case, I'm going to explain to you how we do the prostate embolization procedure. So the prostate embolization is based on the principle of angiography that interventional radiologists have been doing for a long, long time. Uh, so here we see a normal animation of the, the bladder uh, full of urine and the prostate and how the normal urination occurs as the urine flows normally through the urethra. When there is an enlargement of the prostate called hyperplasia, it will squeeze the urethra causing a stricture like we said before, and this will cause symptoms. So how do we treat it? We treat it with embolization. Embolization means uh, blocking the blood flow. So we introduce a tiny, very thin catheter the size of the spaghetti. Uh, it's done under local anesthesia. The patient doesn't feel anything once we're inside this vessel. We're going to uh, introduce it all the way down to the artery of the prostate very, very selectively. 
Once it's positioned, the operator will inject very tiny particles and these particles will go and uh, travel inside the arteries of the prostate causing it to shrink. And this will relieve the obstruction of, and relieve the symptoms and without any of the uh, side effects. And this is called the embolization of the prostate. Uh, next I'm gonna show you a real case how we did a how we treated a real patient who was not so this is a 79 uh, year old patient with uh, BPH and chronic urinary tension this patient could not urinate without a Foley for two years he had uh, a big enlarged prostate big medial low as you can see this is the Foley balloon so in his case we did a variant of the technique we uh, uh, we went through the radial artery which is the artery in the wrist it's a new uh, less invasive way of doing it uh, and this is the wrist of the patient it's done under local anesthesia as you can see uh, the operator the interventional radiologist will introduce a very very tiny uh, spaghetti type of catheter it's introduced through the wrist of the patient nothing is done through, uh, through his penis and uh, once we have the axis of the arterial system we uh, enter with those tiny tiny wires as you see here the patient does not feel anything he's not uh, bothered he's not under general anesthesia you know we can talk to the patient during the procedure <clears throat> so everything is done through the x-ray and we look at the intervention through the monitors we follow our wires so you see uh, here we are entering at the elbow and after that, we go into the area of the shoulder, we go into this, uh, uh, the artery of the chest, and we follow it down all the way into the aorta, which is the main artery of the, uh, in the human body. And we're going to go down, like we use the wire and the catheter technique that we usually use. And we're going to very quickly go down. You see, this is real time intervention. I mean, uh, uh, almost not edited and uh, you can see here uh, uh, very quickly we can reach the, the artery of the, the prostate. Um, we can talk to the patient during the procedure, we can give him a, a, his kind of music that he prefers, yeah, he's very comfortable. So once the uh, catheter is placed in a good position we do an angiography and uh, we inject a dye to visualize the arteries of the patient. This will give us an idea about how the anatomy is and here we can see the prostatic artery uh, with the uh, pretty enlarged left lobe. So this procedure has to be done on both sides, on the right and left side, for a better result. Once we uh, obtain a map of the arteries, we can advance very extremely thin micro catheters, as you can see here, that will allow us to achieve a very selective catheterization of the prostatic artery. And after that, we're going to start the embolization procedure, which means we uh, will start injecting the, the tiny particles. Very important here, we perform systematically a, an advanced imaging technique called the con beam CT which is like a CT scan image while we're doing the injection of contrast so simply the, this shows us exactly what we're doing there's no guessing and we obtain those type of images where we can see uh, here the enhancement of the left lobe of the prostate so that confirms that we're really in the prostate and we're not going to be damaging any organ like the bladder or rectum so this is a the type of imaging that is needed. So after that, we're going to start the embolization. <clears throat> we use uh, the, those particles, as you can see here, and uh, they're floating inside the syringe. They're made of gelatin, and they're going to 